Well, hey there, you're back here with Barry, and I'm going to cut a real short video for you. First of all, thanks a lot for all the nice emails that came in. It's, uh, it's, I, I, it's nice to know some, t uh, some people appreciate what you do. And uh, we're just uh, pleased that we could have been so accurate over the last six, seven years. Anyway, moving forward, uh, one of the questions I got uh, asked a lot on, on some of these emails that were welcoming us back with the videos, and by the way, articles on the Something Feels Wrong website, uh, some very interesting ways to look at things. Anyway, uh, one of them was, why do you do this? And uh, well, okay, one, I enjoy it to share what I have been studying for almost 40 years with the mentors and what's been, at least until now, uh, able to keep us one or two curves uh, ahead on the highway so we didn't have to jam on the brakes or run off the road, you know? And that's a good feeling right about now. Um, but, but the biggest reason, without doubt, um, besides trying to help people, is I wanted for my, my own family and my own close friends. I wanted boots on the ground information on as many points on the planet as possible. Let me give you a for instance on that. All the hoopla going on right now in Ukraine, okay, I, I believe the mentors have a very in-depth concept of what's actually going on and boy it's nothing, nothing you're being fed like at all on mainstream medias. But when you have a handful of people, um, actually I had one of them that's less than 15 miles from one of the front lines, um, a, a Canadian living there, married to a Ukrainian woman, and uh, I'm going to tell you something, you're going to get some accurate information, so that's the reason why. Months ago there were these riots in, uh, in France, all over France, and we have a, a fair amount of subscribers out in France. and. Uh, the, you know, they were downplaying it so radically compared to what was actually happening there. And these people were just, hey, Barry, wow, it's good to hear from you. Yes, yes, I'm watching, I'm, I'm you know, blah, 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 thanks for what you do. Uh, oh, those were, yeah, by the way, we were there. You want me, can I send you some short blurbs off my cell phone? So it turns out what they're, what they're saying is maybe 45,000 people, it turns out to over 700,000. See what I'm saying about the, you get information if you do it the way, uh, you know, what comes to you. You do not get perspective. There's a huge difference to your future survival in that statement. Information is not perspective. You better start grabbing that. All right, so that's the biggest reason we did that. Now back to why we did it. We came back when we said the, chef, uh, the chessboard shifted. Well, it did. Okay, in the last couple of months, you've had the co party, or not co, you had the opposition party of Putin assassinated. Okay, within the last couple of weeks, you had Abe Shinsu from Japan, former leader of Japan, assassinated. By the way, that's in a country also where uh, that is not common at all. Uh, weapons to the citizenry in that country is almost non-existent. As a matter of fact, the weapon was homemade. Uh, another one probably didn't make much news on the mainstreams, but that would be um, out of Brazil, uh, Marcelo Arruda. I wanted to get it right, Arruda. He's the leader of the leftist opposition party, or the PT. Uh, he was actually assassinated at his own birthday party in his backyard. So then... You have other things within the last couple of weeks, and, and these are major. Each I'm rifling them off quickly here, but they're major. There's over 400,000 citizens of China that have at least had their life savings suspended in their accounts, if not lost, all because of one of the major government banks is declaring insolvency. So how did they answer that, the government? You think they'd come to the citizens' help? Governments never help citizens. Governments control citizens. What did they do? They started releasing tanks, okay, against their own citizens. Now, they didn't, they didn't fire or anything like that, but it's, they would have if they were given the instructions. When, okay, I can also hear... I'm trying to get people to open minds here, so those with closed minds, I can hear them saying right now, they're not in my country. Well, wait a minute, you know, last I checked, I'm Canadian. And, um, hmm, 
What happened there not too long ago with the truckers convoy that was very peaceful, okay? The government put the metal boot down to that eventually because it was gaining so much momentum because it was peaceful. It got a lot of people to think and a lot of people said they're making perfect sense. So what did they do? They put a stop to that forcibly. Okay, using police, that's why the mentors have always said the last rule determining what the revolution will play out as, whether it's extremely violent or mild in its, in its actions, and that is depending on who, which side the police end up taking. That largely determines the volatility of any revolution military and police, on their own citizens. But anyway, so that's, it can't happen in my country. Well, I'm Canadian. Don't forget, they also confiscated over $1 million worth of donations and literally stole it from the truckers. So that was supposed to be for their gas, for their, just so they can keep up the protest. So you see what I mean? Governments will never protect their citizenry. They do it through illusion, a mask of protection. But again, anytime you hear for your benefit, for your good, it's, al for you, it's always substitute words like that with control, okay? It's all about for your control, not for your benefit. It's not all about your safety, it's all about control. So these rules are not put into place, okay, for your safety. They're put into place for your control. Learn to substitute that. You'll have a much clearer picture of what's actually been going on. And that goes for anybody's side. If you take one, it doesn't matter your political outlook. It doesn't matter your sexual preference. It doesn't matter the color of your skin. Because at the bottom line, we're all human and we're all citizens. It's all about control. So I'm going to pick up on that um, a little bit further on down the line when I have a bit more time. But we're going to discuss, uh, like we said, watch out, mid-2020, uh, mid you're going to start to see this resemblance of a hockey stick uptick in violence. Well, when you have people like Draghi, and Boris Johnson jumping ship all of a sudden, those are some serious players. Even though they serve their role, and it doesn't matter, don't for a minute fool yourself and think it's a good thing for us. It's not good, it's not bad, it's the same because it's about control. So you see, if one is groomed to do a certain job, and the job is done, or the job no longer, the, the key no longer opens the lock, and you have to change the key, if the same person is supplying the key, what makes you think anything's going to change other than the face? Keep that in the back of your mind, too, as we go forward, because I'm going to pick up steam here on what you should be considering, at least, over the next while. I mean, uh, so many people that are subscribers. Listen, before we got shadow banned, we were well over a million and views, and, and we were getting 50, 60, 80 emails a day before they started shadow banning us, which is good for, for myself, because I know I was hitting a nerve by telling the truth. See, we were free to say whatever we want when we were 1,000 or 1,500, but when our videos started pulling in 130, 150,000 views, a video, we're starting to reach people, and that's when they start doing what they're doing. Just take a look at the rest of them, far larger than us that have been shadow banned as well. Anyway, we're going to still catch us on Rumble. I'm writing again, so get on down to something feels wrong and read and let me know your two cents. I'm looking for information from you guys as well, if it holds water, and uh, we'll get it up and out there to everybody else. So let's, come on, let's start working together here or they are just going to kick butt on us. I mean, the board's changed. It's time to release more information. We'll talk to you next chance I get. Take care.